Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned, FAA updates the community of Drone Safety Week. Also, Wing says they have almost reached 100,000 deliveries. And Dawn Aerospace conducts flight on its suborbital space plane. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. Hi, I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. If you have a drone, then you're going to want to participate in the third annual National Drone Safety Awareness Week, which take place from September 13th until the 19th. Moving forward with the FAA continuing to integrate drones into the national airspace system, one of the most important details will be ensuring drone pilots understand the responsibilities involved with flying safely. During the duration of the campaign, pilots and recreational flyers can discuss passions in the industry, while experts will share with them the pressing drone safety educational topics. New requirements for the drone community will also be discussed. Specific themes will be discussed over the duration of the week, with a different theme each day. Monday, safe flyers take the recreational UAS safety test. Tuesday, register and mark your drone. Wednesday, become part of the flying community. Thursday, new rules, remote identification and operations over people. Friday, public safety and public acceptance. Saturday and Sunday, share the skies, get out and fly. Coming up after the break, New Shepard completes latest mission successfully. More news after these messages. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor Training Program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working and you're going to hear more about it. Welcome back. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds the unmanned vehicle communities. Latest new Shepard mission completed successfully. Blue Origin reveals the successful completion of the 17th New Shepard mission to space and back, which is the eighth flight for this vehicle. The August 26 flight held payloads from NASA's Flight Opportunities Program, along with a second flight of the deorbit descent and landing sensor demonstration under a NASA Hipping Point partnership. The DDL demo flew on the new Shepard booster for the second time, testing technology that will ensure high accuracy landing for future moon missions. Terra Dynamics has secured a contract with the Naval Air Warfare Center Aircraft Division. The contract includes delivery of three VTOL prototypes for the Blue Water Maritime Logistics UAS program. In a 2018 analysis, the Military Sea Lift Command and Fleet Forces Command found that 90% of critical repair cargo delivered at sea weighed less than 50 pounds. Thus, a need for the U.S. Navy to develop technology to deliver cargo with UAS was realized. John's MAV-55 among top selections in Military Concept Challenge. Jaunt Air Mobility has been selected to complete in the AFWorks High Speed Vertical Takeoff and Land Concept Challenge, which has been narrowed down from 218 competitors to 35. 
The HS VTOL concept challenge is partnered with the U.S. Air Force and U.S. Special Operations Command. The MAV-55 multi-mission air vehicle brings the speed and capabilities of a fixed-wing aircraft combined with John's patented slow-rotor compound technology. ASTM and EuroK sign an MOU. The ASTM International, located in Pennsylvania, and the European Organization for Civil Aviation Equipment in Paris have signed a Memorandum of Understanding. The MOU will facilitate the exchange of information and cooperation in the aviation and aerospace sectors. The goal of this agreement is to reduce the duplication of efforts in global aviation. EuroK Director General Christian Schleifer and ASTM International Vice President of Global Policy, Cooperation and Communications Jeff Grove signed the MOU. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Delivery drone company Wink informs the community that they have almost achieved 100,000 customer deliveries. The milestone will coincide with the Alphabet-owned company's second anniversary after their first launch in Australia. 10,000 cups of coffee, 1,200 roast chickens, and 1,700 snack packs were consumed thanks to the drone services in Logan, Australia, which is home to about 300,000 residents. The company also operates in Finland and the U.S., where they have made about 50,000 deliveries to date. Users can download an app to make their purchase, which includes an inventory of small items such as coffee, pet food, and groceries. The current record held by the company, which is owned by Google parent company Alphabet, is 2 minutes and 47 seconds from order to arrival with the average delivery taking about 6 to 10 minutes. They are designed to carry packages with a weight up to 2.6 pounds, with a total range of about 6 miles. They fly at around 150 feet and descend to around 25 feet when they arrive at their drop-off location before tethering the package down and releasing it to the customer. Coming up after these messages, Dawn Aerospace conducts flight on its suborbital space plane. More on that after the break. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. Dawn Aerospace conducts flight on its suborbital space plane. Startup Dawn Aerospace has completed five test flights of its Mark II Aurora space plane. The suborbital space plane took its flights at the Glen Tanner Aerodrome in New Zealand, South Island in July in order to focus on a review of the airframe and avionics. Flights were maxed out at 300 feet. However, as this allowed the team to capture extensive data enabling further R&D on the capability of Mark II. Don's goal is to construct a vehicle that costs less money than a vertical launch, but is able to perform flights to and from space a few times per day. The size of the Mark II is also notable, taking up the same amount of size as a compact car, weighing in at about 16 feet long and only 165 pounds. This is another way to keep costs lower than the vertical launch Rocket Cousins. The company plans to build a Mark III space plane that can also be used for scientific research, atmospheric data, climate modeling, and weather observations. One of the key differences between the Mark 
2 and Mark 3 is the payload. Mark 2 will only be able to carry about 8.8 .8 pounds into orbit, while the Mark 3 will be capable of carrying 551 pounds. Well, that does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Era News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.